just went on bite to film they're building houses opposite hello everyone it's bubs how are you all today i'm very excited to share my may favorites so i apologize again um it has been a while and the reason that i don't do monthly favorites videos as often is because i don't want to make a video unless i'm really 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 loving the products and i have to have enough products so you know it might be a month where i'm loving like a product or two so it's not enough so i kind of save it for the next month before that i want to apologize but today we do have a monthly favorites video and i have to say i'm really loving the pics and i'm sure you guys are going to love them too first product as you can see behind me this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I haven't just been loving it for this month I've also been loving it for you know the couple months before this has just been my absolute to go palette especially now that it's spring and we're moving on to summer then honestly this is just the ultimate palette these are the most softest pigmented eyeshadows ever you guys know I can get really lazy when it comes to do my makeup so for the fact that these eyeshadows are just such a dream to blend it just makes it so much quicker and easier the eyeshadows are scented I can't exactly pinpoint I can't really <laughs> sorry I can't exactly pinpoint the scent of the eyeshadows but they do smell very sweet which makes sense because the palette is called sweet peach it would have been fine for me even if the eyeshadows aren't scented because it's not like people are going to come sniffing my eyes you no know, it just happens for me especially when it comes to scents i try to avoid the, the really sweet scents i find that especially when it comes to warm colors it just helps to give my complexion that radiant boost and the eyeshadows that I especially like to wear is Puree and Summer Yum, which are lovely warm matte browns, and they're so easy to blend. Um, I also love to use white peach on the actual lid area. And then I contour the eye more using Charmed, I'm sure. Sometimes if I want my eyes to look a bit more peachy and glowy, then I like to use Bellini or Candy Peach. Uh, but in general, I just absolutely adore this palette. I can definitely imagine this palette being great for everyday makeup if you want something that's more on a natural side also at the same time if you want to create something with a bit more glam especially if you're really into romantic girly looks because it is a sweet peach palette then you're pretty much sort of right there one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes at the moment next up this is from m cosmetics michelle and the team are really sweet and they sent in some of their uh liquid lipsticks uh for me to try I've yet to test all of the liquid lipsticks i've only had a chance to test I believe three or four and I do like all of them but the one that I'm loving the most so far is in Faded Clementine it actually reminds me of Kylie Jenner's autumn collection or fall collection and I think hers is called pumpkin or something now what makes the lip card great is Michelle asked her following when she was creating her range what people wanted a lot of people said they wanted a liquid lipstick that would be not only long lasting um, but also hydrating on the lips we all know when it comes to liquid lipsticks a lot of times as great as they look as long lasting as they are the thing is they can be quite drying and just like lipstick it leaves a ring in the edge of your lip the great thing about the m cosmetics lip cloud is it doesn't fade like that actually and you don't get that like awkward ring you get after you have like a few cups of tea or after eating and of course i really have to say it absolutely doesn't feel drying on the lips just very comfortable uh very velvety the texture is lovely it's kind of like a whipped cream but when it's on the lips it almost feels like a lip liqueur so it just seals nicely on your lips but you don't get that awkward dry uncomfortable tight feeling a lot of times when it comes to liquid lipsticks as well when you apply it after it oxidizes in air you find that it comes off much more darker but as you can see as i have swatched in my hand it's very true to color i think for this color it's a very unique interesting color it's not quite orange it's not quite red it's a lovely spicy burnt color i guess kind of like a faded clementine so it's very unique definitely gives a pop of color but at the same time it still looks very sophisticated next up this is the hula quickie contour stick if you guys don't know already i've gained 35 pounds so far in this pregnancy so i do contour my face a little bit more honestly most of the time i just really like to use powder when it comes to contour my face although i did use the iconic london contour powder which is a cream palette which i do like but even still i do find it's quite a lot of effort however i gotta say i've really really been enjoying the hula quickie contour stick i've tried a lot of cream contour 
makeup, especially contour sticks. And I can't always say they're the easiest to use. It looks easy to use and stuff, but a lot of times, you know, the cream, be very careful because when you're blending it, it can move around and then you have to set it with the powder. So it's really a lot of work. But what's great about the Hoola contour stick is even though, as you can see, it is a cream, it actually dries off to a powder finish and because it dries off to a powder finish it makes blending so much easier a lot of people say if you want a natural look use cream contour but when it's so hot the last thing you really want to use is cream on your face because it's going to slip and slide so the fact that it dries off to a powder finish just makes it perfect because it means it's long lasting it looks natural and you can just easily define your face on the go. I use this in hollows on my cheeks, on my jaw, on my forehead, and even I apply it in the tips of my nose. And I just buff and blend away. So quick, no awkward streaks. It gives me a lovely natural finish. Wonderful product. Next up, this is the SVR Clairol Serum. Now, if you are subscribed to my vlog channel, I mentioned this in one of my videos. Currently, I am 32 weeks pregnant and I know that every time I get pregnant, I am so prone to sunspots because my skin's defense just takes a scoop. So I'm developing sunspots so much more easier, but at the same time, I want to be careful about what products I'm using to my skin. You can definitely see that I'm starting to get more freckles, and freckles are cute, but at the same time, you have to remember that it's also a indication that your skin is weakening. Apparently, this is a product that's recommended by a lot of dermatologists for dark spots. What's great about this serum is, of course, it deals with treating and it also deals with preventing. What you immediately notice about this serum is the consistency. Usually, serums come in a clear gel, but you can see it's white and it's almost sort of like a very runny cream. So it means when you apply it to your face, it's very lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy at all, and you'll find that for a serum, it's a lot more moisturizing than your typical serum. And in a nutshell, I use this in the morning and I also use this in the evening. It helps to fade the dark spots, and also at the same time, it helps to prevent new ones from forming. It has some sort of technology in it that when you apply it, it immediately helps to blur them out. I've been using this for a month now, and even though I still do have my dark spots, I can definitely see that they have lightened for sure. Oh, it's getting so warm! Alright, so next product is also another product made in France, and I'm most likely going to butcher the name. But the brand is called Caudalie. This is the eye cream. As you can see, for an eye cream, you're getting quite a lot of products, so this should last you for a while. And the eye cream that I used before was from Estee Lauder, and I really liked it. I really felt that it made a difference in tightening my under eye area. But since I ran out, I was recommended this brand. The thing is, you know of eye creams, so you just kind of buy it because you know that, oh, it's what you're supposed to be using. And you don't really think much, but then what I've really noticed these two weeks was I haven't really been using concealer. You guys know I I live by concealer because my under eye area has always been um, my biggest trouble area. And yet I've only really noticed that in these two weeks that, oh, I haven't even really been using concealer just really because... I don't really think I've been needing it just because it's been doing such a great job. This eye cream is supposed to firm up the area, brighten it up and help swelling and reduce the dark circles. Yeah, I can really say it does do the job. As you can see, it does have sort of a very, very, very subtle uh, pearly finish. Almost sort of works as a very subtle highlight to shine away the darkness when you do use it. In general, it's very moisturizing, nice and lightweight, doesn't feel sticky. I love massaging this onto my eyes in the morning and the evenings and I can really say it's doing the job. I'm not experiencing a lot of puffiness these days. It really does seem like my dark circles have somehow diminished. Lastly, this is the Declior Hydrating Night Balm. Don't be fooled by the size because at 15 ml, this product is going to last you for a while. And I use this every single night. I mentioned to you guys that I don't know if it's because of pregnancy or whatsoever. My skin has just gotten a bit more dry. When you open it up, what you immediately notice is a scent because it has a very relaxing calming scent almost sort of like aromatherapy and so i love applying this at night when i'm about to go to bed because i find it really relaxes me all you need is just a tiny tiny bit and then i rub it and warm it between my palms and then i press onto my skin so not only i feel more calm because of the lovely scent the aromatherapy calming my senses 
but immediately calms and soothes my skin. So when I go to bed, I wake up to a skin that's so much more hydrated and nourished, especially because I've just been feeling so drained and tired lately. Then this just really helps to repair my skin. Another really cool thing about this balm is it actually helps to lighten and uh, fade the dark spots at the same time. Active ingredients include essential oils of basil to purify and to heal the skin, uh, neroli to soften and chamomile to prevent the appearance of dark circles, tonka bean to boost microcirculation. This is a lovely product that gives you spa-like finish and it's quite a multi-use product because you can also use this on insect bites, you can use it for the ends of your hair, ingrown hairs, burns, dry patches on your elbows. Um, it's a pretty multi-use product. I just noticed my collar was flipped in for the whole time. Alright guys, these are my favorites of May. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye!